Hello everybody, this is Max with A1 Website Pro and today we're talking about watermarking our images and if you see right here you can see that this image right here is watermarked with uh, Candace Alexander um, great artist if you're interested in art down in Louisiana her website's CandaceDAlexander.com and we're looking at this plugin here called Image Watermark and this is the best plugin that you could possibly get that uh, will help you watermark your images and I'm going to show you how to set it up here first you go to settings after you install the plugin if you have any issues on installing plugin just go to a1websitepro.com and type in how to install a plugin okay so what we want here is we want automatic watermarking turned on manual watermarking on and uh, we can enable all of these for Candace because she wants all of her images watermarked um, uh, we could be, uh, you know, uh, front end watermarking. We want that on. On plugin deactivation, like if we decide to delete this plugin, do we want all the database settings? I mean, you can leave that off, and whenever you get ready, to, if you want to ever get rid of this plugin, which I don't know why you would, uh, you could uh, put, turn that to on. Okay, here's the watermark position alignment. Uh, you could have it in the center of the image, top of the image, or or whatnot. So you could choose the position for hers. We're going to put it right in the center. And then we could have an offset. This is uh, uh, top and bottom. This is left and right, but uh, we're just going to leave that alone. Um, we have a watermark image here that we that that is uploaded. But if you need one, you could just select the image and select the image from your library there and go ahead and upload it. Um, we're going to have uh, you can the watermark size can be the size of the original watermark image you can choose a custom size and you put them parameters in here or a scaled image so we're going to have ours be scaled because we want to scaled and then right here are the settings for scaled if you want it to be 100 percent of the image 50 percent of the image or you know 25 we're going to go ahead and leave ours up around the 90 some mark and then here's the transparency if you want it totally out that zero the darker you want it you want it up to 100 we're going to try to keep it right here in the center and then you can set the quality of the image too from you know zero to 100 percent this probably helps with uh, you know if you're doing a lot of images at the same time you might not want to have the greatest quality um, and then you could select a baseline or a progressive image format so we'll leave that on progressive uh, we can disable right click on images prevent the drag and drop enable image protection for logged in users also so that logged in users cannot right click and copy your images but we'll leave that off because all the people that are with her already have the images so okay so we'll click save changes just like that there okay now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to uh, media and I'm going to add a new image here because I'm going to be sending this as a tutorial to those folks there and I'm going to grab one of my images here maybe a picture of me and my baby girl whenever I was a few years ago and we'll go ahead and upload that to the um, to the site there and let it compress because there's an U image optimizer that's compressing the file so we don't have extremely large files on the site and uh, give that a second okay now we see that the image is here okay so we could go to that image and see that it's uploaded and you could see the the watermark that we had done now let's say that you have existing images in the library okay like like this one here and uh, they're not watermarked and you had just installed this and you want to watermark an image so what you would do is you just tick on the image that you want watermark under bulk actions click apply watermark and just click apply and if you have several to do you just do it just like that and it'll apply the the image watermark for you this is a great plugin once again if you look, look at the uh, the image you could see that uh, you know that the watermark is there but now it's on there twice so okay well that's it for this tutorial for the best watermarking image plugin for WordPress